go to date. So let's talk about this. Traditionally, we're going to go on a date. Okay. So traditionally, um, most of your sex is going to come from going out, getting numbers, and then taking her on a date, first date sometime later, right? The real problems that guys have are, are following up and getting them out on a date. But if you put in the legwork, if you do the escalation, and you make the connection, you get that number, that girl can't wait to see you. Set up a date, next couple days, whenever, right? The best dates I've found are dates that are multifaceted. Two reasons. Number one, I mean, there's lots of scientific reasons about adrenaline and all of this kind of stuff. But um, the first issue that I always think about is, what if I want to bail out, right? What if I want to duck out? What if I get on a date and she turns out to be like crazy or smelly or like I've been in these situations where a girl just smells and I'm like, I don't want to sit across from this woman at dinner for an hour and a half and then go to a movie for another two hours. It's not something I want to do. So I think about multifaceted date, um, date with different places that you can go to, um, different things that you can experience. And there's a lot of reasons for that, right? So there are activities that you can do. There are places that you that you like. I'm a, I'm a good talker. I talk and I, and I create verbal tension and I create sexual escalation through talking. So my go-to date when I was living in LA was you go out for sushi. Quick little nice sushi place. Um, it's kind of a, there was one that, uh, right on in Santa Monica, right on Third Street Promenade that was that had this, uh, it was a nice sushi place, but they had this secret area and you actually walk through the kitchen and you go back and everything's half price. It's the same thing. It was just like a back room. Like, I don't know why, but it was great. So we'd go there, it'd be dirt cheap. And then you could, um, we would walk down to the pier and we would go screw around on the pier where there's like uh, arcades and there's a Ferris wheel and there's lots of games you can play. Uh, a lot of times we would then get into the car and we would drive um, up through the Pacific Coast Highway up PCH, which is super nice in Malibu. If you ever watched the opening of uh, that David Duchovny show, um, what's that stupid show? It's Californication, right? In the beginning, him driving home, that's PCH. Up there, super nice views, and then I get up on Sunset, and you could drive up through Sunset Canyon, and then down on Sunset Boulevard through Hollywood and see all the beautiful houses. Um, and on that, what we would end up doing is we would line up our conversation, right? So I know where I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do on a date. I know at Sushi, we're gonna talk about her day, we're gonna talk about what she likes, we're gonna create a good frame for she and I to interact. If that goes well, then we're gonna move and we're gonna play. We're gonna build some buying temperature, we're gonna get her into a more emotional, um, emotional kind of sense where she's having fun, she's enjoying that time spent. We're gonna use that to transition to the car where I throw in my, I would put in my like date mix CD. This was before we had like reliable audio inputs or Bluetooth and stuff. And then while we were driving up through Sunset, we'd listen to the nice music and we'd look at all the big houses and we'd create this fantasy world where we're talking about where we want to live with that person, you know, she's, oh, you, this is your house, this is my house, or we should just get together, live in that one, or, you know, or whatever, in these big houses, and then we drive, and I would mention, um, sometimes I'd stop for coffee, but I would always seed a movie that I'd seen, right? I'd say, oh, wow, this is amazing. Have you ever seen this movie? It was incredible. Like, I watched it the other night. It's so amazing. And then once you've built up enough of that attraction, attraction, connection, um, and buying temperature, that emotional state, then you can use that to... Um, bring her back to your place and say, hey, listen, if you haven't seen that movie, like you gotta, let's actually, you know what, let's go. And I'd do that literally at the end. I'd park, she'd be like, I had a great time. You'd give her a big hug. You wouldn't even go for the kiss. You'd just give her a big hug. And then you'd go, hey, you know what? Sorry, hold on a second. Hi. What's up, buddy? I'm saying hi to my old student, Max, who has arrived in Miami. Good to see you. Just doing this. Hope to catch up with you. Yeah. Um, and uh, once you, so once you, once you do that, you see that interaction and you say, actually, you know what? I've got that movie on Netflix. Why don't you just come up and we'll, we'll check it out? And she's like, okay. And then usually I just set up on my bed and, and we can go from there. There's a lot of ways to do different dates. Um, my Tinder date went from sushi restaurant to a bar and I'm a good talker. So it, it's just, it's just what do we talk about while we're building a connection, while we're getting to know each other, uh, and then straight on to, oh, well, let's have a drink here. And that's just an excuse, not for alcohol, but to have some more conversation. Um, and then I'll start prepping some fantasies. We'll move from sensual or from romantic to sensual to sexual. And by that time, we've built up over the last hour or two, we've built up enough tension where she's like, oh, it turns out I live right next door. You know, it turns out my apartment, geez, is right next to the bar that I plan to go to. Thanks for watching. For more information, head on over to artoftheplayboy.com and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.